We're going to read another Dr. Seuss poem today. This one is Yertle the Turtle. On the faraway island of Salamasan, Yertle the Turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond. It was clean. It was neat. The water was warm. There was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need. And they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. I, it ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king. I'd be ruler of all I could see. There's everybody happy in their pond and Yertle sitting up on his rock. Now he's gotten to thinking about things. And he looks a little grumpy. So Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand and Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone and using these turtles, he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on another one's back and he piled them all up in a nine turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up, he sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view. He could see most a mile. All mine, Yertle cried. Oh, the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house, and what's more beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. Those little turtles are being pretty cooperative to pile up like that for him. Now he doesn't just see the pond, he sees the cow and the mule and the little house. And all through that morning, he sat there up high, saying over and over, a great king am I. Till long about noon, then he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king. And he looked down the stack, and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac, just a part of his throne. And this plain little turtle looked up and said, begging your pardon, King Yertle. I've pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we stand here, your majesty, please? Silence, said King of the Turtle, barked back. I'm king and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house and a bush and a cat. But that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I want about 200. There's poor little Mac way at the bottom looking up at your and asking, saying his back hurts. I bet his back does hurt. And there's Yertle yelling at him. He's not a very kind king, is he? Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed, and the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. Whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins, and all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after another, they climbed up the stack. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high, he could see 40 miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray, shouted Yertle. I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the birds, and I'm king of the bees, I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see.
Here they all are swimming over to obey what he says because they're afraid of him. There he is, way, way, way up high on that stack. Actually, that stack looks a little precarious, doesn't it? Then again from below in the great heavy stack came a groan from that plain little turtle named Mac. Your Majesty, please. I don't like to complain, but down here below we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We are starving, groaned Mac. You hush up your mouth, howled the mighty King Yertle. You've no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds, over land, over sea. There is nothing, no nothing that's higher than me. The very unkind king. There's poor Mac just begging. And all the other turtles are getting pretty sick too. And of course, there's Yurgle just being mean. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise up over his head in the darkening eyes. What's that? snorted Yurtle. Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yurtle the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I need about 5,607. But as Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, that plain little turtle below in the stack that plain little turtle whose name was just Mac decided he'd taken enough and he had. And that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. Oh, and that plain little lad got a little bit mad. And that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped and his burp shook the throne of the king. There's Yertle, and he's mad because the moon is higher than him. There's poor little Mac, and he burp. Looks like he's shaking things up a little bit. And Yertle, the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of a house and a cow and a mule, well, that was the ing of King Turtle King's rule. For Yertle, the king of Salaman Sand, fell off his high throne and fell plunk in the pond. There he goes, face down into the pond. Mac looks a little happy. And today the great Yertle, that marvelous he, is king of the mud. That is all he can see. And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free, as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. He got himself all buried in the mud, and now he's just got a mud hat and not even the rock throne anymore. Like he got what was coming to him, and that is the end of King Yertle the Turtle.